Hi guys, it is a cloudy but certainly not rainy uh, April 27th. April 27th, 2012. We have not even made it to May here in Austin, Texas. And, and here is what is left of, of the creek that I live on, Williamson Creek. Uh, you know, look at this. I did, uh, I think I did, it was about, what was it? Was it two weeks ago? Uh, it might have been three weeks ago when I came down and, uh, and this was a, to give you a video, this was a beautiful pool of water, which now has been reduced to this with, you know, the, the little minnows and little bugs. Uh, probably see them squirming around. They will, today the temperature will hit the mid-90s here in Austin in April, uh, and, and these little guys will we'll kiss it all goodbye uh i doubt you remember but last year i wish i'd checked the date i think it was late may i was down at this very i'll go to the pool behind my rock here i was in this uh was in this very pool which one year ago it took it, it took almost another month to get to this this point of drought now last year uh what i was doing in my video uh down here at the same pool i was scooping up there were there were thousands and thousands of tadpoles in here that i was trying to rescue and then and i moved it to a moved them to a a big pool where I hope, you know, a real carved out pool where I hope that they were going to make it through to toads. I don't know whether they do or not. You might notice that there's not a single tadpole in here this year. Last year, which was the first real year of drought, there were thousands and thousands of tadpoles in here. I don't think any of them made it to adulthood which is i'm gonna take a wild jump in logic here i'm gonna i'm gonna take an alex jones level jump in logic here. okay let's see last year there were thousands and thousands of tadpoles that did not make it to uh to adulthood because the, the because of the drought here in austin texas uh this year there are no tadpoles just a goat uh no tadpoles i'm, I'm gonna make some connection between the population crash of toads and the drought uh which you decide does this have anything to do with with global warming i've mentioned several times before it has it has a lot to do with the sewer pipe they put through here in 1959, which took, you know, probably at least 50% of the water out of this natural, uh, once teeming with life, uh, creek, uh, out of the creek and sucked it into the sewer pipe channel, not the pipe itself, but all the crushed, all the crushed granite, you know, 20 feet. Uh, 12 feet from the side of the creek but anyway there was still enough uh, water since 1959 until the year 2011 to support a healthy population of amphibians so it looks like 2012 which you know some people some people firmly believe you know is a year that the you know that the shit's gonna hit the fan so the year 2012, we have zero, zero uh, amphibians breeding in this creek in South Austin, Texas. Zero is the population of, of uh, amphibians uh, coming along 
to uh, to replenish the population there will be there will be no baby toads grown this year I don't know if last year if I managed to save any I think that I did I think the ones that I moved to the big deep pool did make it to adulthood a few of them a tiny fraction uh, but this year I have no tadpoles to move and probably the pool that I move them to uh, e even if they were they wouldn't make it because we are I'm thinking pretty much a month ahead of schedule is that the right word a month ahead of where we were last year as we move into another killer drought in uh, at least here in Texas uh, I can see several dead trees in this picture right here uh, if we have another drought this year like we did last year and uh, all indications are that we are there's no telling how many of these trees are going to die what this picture is going to look like uh, it's you know it's heartbreaking guys uh, does this have any thing to do with uh, with human activity you tell me now speaking of human activity so all you people can you know I, I, you, <laughs> and, and I can't believe the shit I'm getting from my quote environmental friends this pool is evaporating every day I mean look where it went this this sand here is still wet this pool dropped a foot yes this is the last day this pool is yesterday was the last day that we're able that I'm able to water my my cornfield out uh, here's my little pump in this pool uh, yes I have been pulling water out of this creek uh, you know what's left of it to water my to water my cornfield uh, well actually the pump is out of water it's out of the water so I will not be able to use this pump I might get one more use of it out of this pool so here we are guys my my corn is not even knee high and uh, it's got one more watering one more watering and then uh, I have two choices let the corn shrivel up and die or use the city water which is coming out of out of the Colorado River is where the city you know where the city water is coming from uh, the the rapidly dropping cause so those are my two choices let my corn die uh, or use the city water that will be what I will start I will be facing that decision beginning tomorrow before May now of course I'm a lucky American I have that choice number one I'm not I'm not the least dependent on my stupid little cornfield to feed me and I have that I do have the choice although it's an expensive one and, and not good for the planet one to use the city water to water my cornfield but there you know two-thirds of the planet do not have this choice they do not have this choice when their water supply dries up and the increasing droughts all over the planet earth these people who do depend on this corn for their survival they cannot turn on the city water they will sit by helplessly and watch the food that sustains themselves and their families dry up and blow away and they will starve to death they will starve to death unless us rich Americans and Europeans send them uh, artificial as it were food relief so this uh, anyway you can connect the dots yourself guys uh, this is what said this is you know here Williamson Creek in South Austin Texas is a tiny tiny little microcosm what is going on on this planet in the spring of 2012 and one more you know graphic illustration of how we as a species and as a planet are slouching towards Armageddon I see no hope 
and I'm here to chronicle it for all the future space aliens or, or cockroaches that, in, that, that inherit this, uh, this catastrophe that we are leaving behind for them to inherit. Bye guys.